Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Thursday, May the 27th. Please join me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Most High knows the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. Alleluia. Psalm 37, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, the Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Most High. They shall be like the fat of lambs, consumed by fire, and vanish like the smoke. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous shows mercy and give. For such as be blessed by God shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed by God shall be cut off. God guards the steps of the good and delights in their way. If they stumble, they shall not fall, for the Most High holds them by the hand. I've been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor their children baking, bragging bread. They are ever merciful and lent, and their children are blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and live forevermore. For the Most High loves justice and forgets not the saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be destroyed. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell there forever. The mouths of the righteous speak wisdom, and their tongues talk of justice. The law of God is in their hearts, and none of their steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay them. The Most High will not leave them undefended, nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Most High knows the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Then Jesus said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that this man was squandering his property. So he summoned him and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Give me an accounting of your management, because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said to himself, What will I do now that my master is taking the position away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do, so that when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, How much do you owe, my master? He answered, A hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, Take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it fifty. Then he asked another, And how much do you owe? He replied, A hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, Take your bill and make it eighty. And his master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly, for the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into the eternal homes. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. A 
Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Guard our steps, dear God, and hold us up if we should stumble. Write your law in our hearts that we may serve truth and justice and live in peace forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.